بسم اللہ اخوان رحیم این السلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس ان دا پاسٹ فیو سیشنز وی بین ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ آڈٹس اینڈ اگین دی امپورٹنس آف آڈٹس دا رول آف دی بورڈ آف ڈائریکٹرز ان دا کانٹیکسٹ آف اوور سینگ دی آڈٹس اینڈ ہاؤ دی آڈٹس ڈائریکٹلی گو ٹوڈ دا بورڈ سو دیٹ دے کین اینالائز دا ڈفرینٹ ڈائمینشنس اینڈ ڈفرینٹ ایسپیکٹس آف این آرگنائزیشن اسپیشلی فرام دا کانٹیکسٹ of finance, accounts, and compliance. Now, all of these audits are very important because they form the very core of corporate governance. And it is through these different type of audits that the board of directors or the top management ensures that the company is meeting and exceeding its objectives. And most importantly, when they are being done, they are being done efficiently, they are being done effectively, and there is no wastage or any loopholes, or any drain of very important resources. It leads to optimization of resources through these different audits. And most importantly, even from the context of Securities Exchange Commission of Pakistan, there have to be annual audits, and those are third-party audits which are done externally. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when we are talking about audits, and we are talking about external audits, that is done through uh, the third party. However, the organization also has to keep a control and check mechanism through internal audits. Now, these internal audits or these internal auditors do not report to the chief executive officer. They report to the chairman or to the board of directors. And therefore, it is a counter check upon the chief executive officer and his or her chief officers and top management so that if there is any malpractice or there is any wastage or there is any loophole or there is any plug which has to be plugged into the fact that uh, there is something which is not optimal, then this internal audit department or internal auditor tends to highlight those issues so that they are uh, safeguarded before there is an external audit. So the internal audit basically not only creates a control and check mechanism, but also ensures that the external audit is done in the right way and therefore is like a proxy audit taking place before the internal audit. Now, When we are talking about internal audits, ladies and gentlemen, then we see the cost audit, which is internal audit, follows two basic perspectives. The attestation of cost structure, number one, and number two, the efficiency review perspective, which is more methodology driven. So in a period of price control and administered interventions, the tested cost structure had a major role to play, and hence the attestation perspective got its particular emphasis. The profession had to play a major role of verifying and validating the cost figures in selected industries before they were submitted to the government. So again, what we see in this uh, particular cost structure is, is that the cost figures basically are looked at. That uh, are they enhanced? Are they market-based? Was proper research conducted? Were pro proper procurement procedures followed? How the, the, the amounts were dispersed? Were there uh, proper uh, classification? And based upon that, Uh, the cost which was given, how were all of those different items or quantities which were acquired or acquisitioned or purchased, how were they utilized? Were they optimally utilized? Was there a need for that particular item? Why was it that a particular quality was basically focused upon? All of these different aspects come within that cost structure audit which is taking place and it is a very fundamental way of understanding that the company is financially prudent and proper accounting mechanisms which are internationally accepted are being followed and there is compliance to international standards. So all of these things ensure that there's proper corporate governance and the internal audit is looking after all of this so that there is a counter check and later on when there is an external audit then uh, there is no embarrassment to the top management and things are done in the right way. So the internal audit department has a very important role and then the report is given directly to the chairman and to the board of directors so that if the top management is doing anything wrong, then the board can take uh, some action uh, against the top management. Now, the other audit which we see over here, internal audits, is called quality audit. So it's not only that we're looking at the cost structure. It's not only that we're looking at the price. It's not only that we're looking at the items. It's not only that we are looking at the optimization of a resource, but we're also looking at quality. And that is where compliance basically comes in and conformity basically comes in. And quality orders have been accepted as a value-adding framework and industry is concerned about non-conformance. So whatever is non-conforming, that is being highlighted in this quality audit. Quality practices are being benchmarked with world-class standards and a focus on bridging quality gaps 
is accepted as a part of corporate governance. So what we see is, is that best practices and benchmarking is being done. So, for example, if I am producing uh, soap, then maybe I will be benchmarking Unilever. And if I am uh, producing fertilizer, then I might be, uh, I might be uh, benchmarking Angro. So again, whoever the industry leaders are, we are benchmarking and we are identifying that what type of standards they are following. And then accordingly, our quality order takes place that what is the quality that we are giving to our client and to our customers. On this broad scope, the focus is not only on improving operational efficiencies, but cost practitioners aspiring for a rightful place in the corporate sector would involve enlarging their vision and business outlook. So again, when we are talking about quality audits, we have to enhance our vision. We have to see beyond what is there. We have to see that what is the quality? How is that quality being accepted? Why is it that the customer is dissatisfied with our quality or satisfied with our quality? What are the ingredients which need further improvement? What are the different aspects which have to be innovated or there has to be a certain uh, deviation or realignment or recalibration uh, in whatever we are doing? What type of services are we providing? How can we improve those services? So all of these different quality audits and then all of that is also coming through the feedback which is coming to the organization and then the organization through their internal audit and internal auditor are looking at all of these aspects so that they can take better strategic decisions which would affect operations and then ensure that the top management takes uh, good care that there is nothing wrong going within the organization and it basically acts as a check and balance for the board of directors in any particular organization and is extremely vital and critical to any corporate governance mechanism in any part of the world. So these are things which now have become uh, normal and that normal is that there has to be this independent department within the organization which is overlooking and creating a check and balance for the board of directors and preparing for the external audit which has to take place usually on an annual basis. Thank you so much.